Our foundation recently gave a $10,000 grant to Bat Conservation International to help support research on one of the most endangered bats in North America. Come with us on a field trip to see how research is going. The first step to bat research, find the bat. Luckily, the team knows of an established bonneted bat colony in an artificial roost or bat house. Hi, my name is Melchizedek Gamba Rios. I am the leader of the Florida Bonneted Bat Initiative here in Miami. We're working with the Florida Bonneted Bat. This is a species that we can find only from South Florida to Miami. And this area is one of the uh, places that we identify uh, within the Miami-Dade County that have a high activity of Florida bonneted bat. There on my back, we have that utility pole, and on top of that utility pole, we have a couple of bat houses. Every month, we visit these bat houses. We have a camera system where we go inside the, the artificial roost, the bat house, and we see how many Florida bonneted bats we have in there. We have a male, and right now, we have four females in there. The Florida bonneted bat is Florida's largest bat species. With a wingspan of 20 inches, they need tall structures to roost in. Historically, this would have been old growth trees, but those largely don't exist in clear cut areas anymore. And that's part of why this bat is so endangered. They have a really elegant wing. So imagine just like a jet. So they need to almost jump in and they're able to start flying. So because these bats fly so high, we need to use different techniques to be able to capture them. Step two, catch a bat. A few nights prior, the research team captured three of the five bats in this house and equipped them with tiny, lightweight GPS backpacks. The backpacks record 24 hours of flight data, but the bats must be recaptured to collect it. The team builds a net system to capture the bats as they leave the roost at dusk to feed. It looks like something out of Scooby-Doo and it takes a while to set up, but the team does this a lot and they have it down to a science. The next step, wait. There's a lot more waiting involved in bat research than I thought. We placed bats on what time we thought the first bat would appear, but we were all wrong. Finally, at 8.58 p.m., the team silently celebrates as they see their first bat of the night. It's a boy, and he's an instant star. He's not one of the bats with a backpack, but every individual provides valuable information. He gets a veterinary exam, and he's released back into the night. The team will continue to try to recapture the bats with GPS backpacks, but they're designed to fall off the bats after some time, hopefully landing below the bat house for collection. Information like this is crucial to informing where future bat houses for bonneted bats will be placed, but this species has been adapting to the changing landscape of Miami for decades. So they're living in the roof of, of houses, and they're the perfect neighbor that you can have. One, because it's a small family group, these bats are going to be between 10 to 15 individuals. They're a really, really quiet neighbor. They don't produce any sound. They're really clean. They don't have any particular smell, and they just need a little of help that we try to identify how we can help in them for this endangered species.